In Fox tonight, a tragic story out of Gresham. Two young children, just six and eight years old, killed. Police say their own mother shot them before turning the gun on herself. Fox 12's Bonnie Silkman is here now to explain what led up to all of this. Bonnie? That's right, Nora. We have been going through these court documents tonight, quite a few of these, and they tell the story of a contentious custody battle involving 31-year-old Ashley Palmer. We know that for more than 18 months, she had been fighting over the custody of her two young children. This case was on the brink of going to trial when police found Palmer, her son, and her daughter dead. We first told you last night about Gresham police responding to the Rockwood Village apartment complex on Southeast 185th in Gresham. We now know that officers did a welfare check there on Ashley Palmer's home. That was Tuesday morning and they found Palmer, her eight year old son, Xavier, and her six year old daughter, Kayliana, all dead from gunshot wounds. Investigators are calling this a murder suicide, though they won't say any more details about what exactly led up to this. Fox 12 also learned that Palmer was locked in a custody fight over her two kids that started back in December of 2020. Friends tell us that the case was getting more and more combative in recent months. Court documents back that up showing that Palmer claimed twice that her former spouse would put the children in imminent danger if they lived with her. The judge denied both those claims. In one of the most recent filings three weeks ago, Palmer's former spouse asked for 50-50 parenting time, which would have reduced Palmer's time with her kids. But the case never made it to trial with the deaths of the two young children and their mother. Gresham police are revealing very few details about their investigation into this shooting and the circumstances of Ashley Palmer's life in recent days. But in their press release tonight about this case, officers did make a point to say that if you or someone you know is experiencing a mental health crisis or contemplating suicide, there is help out there. They gave us several options for folks, including Lines for Life, and that number is right there on your screen. That's 1-800-273-8255. Callers can get immediate, free, confidential support 24 hours a day. We have that number and several other services and websites, too, that can help. That's all on our website, kptv.com. Just find the link to this story that's under the As Seen On section.